Five on Your Sideline is sponsored by Seiden Stricker Noby John Deere. Now that sounds like spring, am I right? Welcome into Five on Your Sideline. I'm Ahmad Hicks. The Blues are fighting to get back on track. The Cardinals' home opener is less than two weeks away, and St. Louis City SC hosted a big match tonight. That is right, and I am Hannah Yates. Before we get to all of that, we revisit with some of our local champs from the high school basketball season, and we dive into our spring sport coverage with lacrosse games in our area tonight. Why don't we get started? The Dismissed Spartans hosting Blue Valley from Kansas tonight, and the Spartans, they got out the gate hat hot. Right behind the net, the ball will find Tommy Rutteran. That's a good goal for the Spartans. Then it's Christopher Anderson. Some great moves from him. That shot will go off the turf, and it goes in. Dismet, they go on to beat Blue Valley South by the score of 12 to 5. CBC hosting Briarcrest from Tennessee, and you know they were fired up in the stands tonight. You need to know Kyle Price because this is his highlight here. Slick moves and the quick release shot on this goal for the cadets. Their first of many celebrations tonight. And then he does it again. Intercepts the pass. Not much pressure as he weaves his way in for another score. Don't blink. Jake Mitchell would also get a goal as well for CBC as the cadets led at last jack. Prior to that lacrosse game, the school gathered to celebrate the classic state champs. Last weekend, the cadets basketball team defeated Nixa for its first title since 2014. CBC alum Larry Hughes was there to watch his son do the same thing he did prior to playing in the NBA. It was a season they both say they won't forget. Yeah, um, it's been a lot. Um, the tough games and overtime that we won, uh, the, the, the tough, um, <laughs> the tough uh, overtime games we won, um, you know, the blowouts we had, it was all fun. Um, countless amount of memories. For me, it's just him realizing his goals, you know, and I'm in the background trying to make sure that he can accomplish those things. So it's, it's fun for me. I, you know, I played for a number of years, but I can just sit back and just watch him, you know, take on every challenge and try to reach his goals. So I, I'm, I'm loving it. A very, very special thing. Incarnate Word is one of those teams that when you think of basketball dominance in Missouri, you think of their team. Last Friday, the Red Knights defeated Kickapoo in the Girls Classic State Championship game to win their fifth straight title. This week, they celebrated. The double-digit win led to their 12th title in program history. They've now won 68 games straight, which is the longest standing winning streak in girls basketball in the country. The team says this doesn't happen by chance and it's a tradition they thrive on. We have super long practices just to prepare for this moment and Coach Rolfus puts his like entire time into this so you just know that like you earned it and it wasn't given and so just it's like a feeling of relief. The pressure's off we finally did it season's over on to the next thing so um, as enjoyable as it is a lot of it is relief. You know this man behind me he knows a thing or two about winning. His name is Tony Irons, and he doesn't lose very often. He's just 38 years old and already has as many titles as Michael Jordan, except his are on the high school level. His latest championship came last weekend as his Fashan Wolverines knocked off Father Toten in the Class 4 title game. The amazing thing is they're virtually returning their entire team next year. So what's the key to Fashan's basketball greatness? It all comes down to one word, culture. It's just culture. I know that's like the buzzword a lot of times, but it's actually, you know, real. Um, a lot of our guys that have gone off to play college, you know, they stay in touch with the kids that are at our team now. And, you know, and they just, they preach the same thing. They want them to be successful. 